Christians who thrive under an hostile government. Seven Guidelines by Dr. Galen Carroll. Jesus warned his followers that the world would treat them in the same way that it treated him. If the world hates you, know that it has hated me before it hated you. Therefore, he left us with several guidelines to help us thrive under persecution from hostile governments. 1. Fulfill all of your legitimate civic responsibilities, including the paying of excessive taxes. Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. The main thing that government officials want from you is taxes. Secondly, that you cause them no trouble. 2. Lead an exemplary life in peace, honesty, and self-control. Be at peace with one another. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Most government officials approve of any community whose members live honestly. 3. Avoid all public activities that Jesus does not require. Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people, in order to be seen by them. When you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret. Jesus commanded very few traditional church activities, and he never approved of church buildings. 4. Pray often for God to help government officials do their work and to leave your community in peace. Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, for he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. Our task is not to replace bad governments, but to change them through continual prayer. 5. Keep on starting new little churches whose members experience the presence of Jesus. Where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I among them. Tiny gatherings of new believers easily reproduce and multiply even under hostile governments. 6. When arrested by authorities, bear witness to them about the Lord Jesus Christ. When they bring you before the authorities, do not be anxious about how you should defend yourself or what you should say for the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. The police do not hate you, but all police officers despise liars. 7. If they kill you, then die with joy, knowing that you will have a great reward. Do not fear those who kill the body, and after that have nothing more that they can do. Why, even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not. Jesus suffered a violent death in order that we may live forever. And if we must die a violent death, then we shall have even greater joy with him.